Hey guys, Fix It John. Uh, this video here is for entertainment purposes only. If you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, don't do it. It can get you killed. Uh, I'm back at the electrical panel. We're getting a uh, generator. Well, we already have a generator. I've already have it uh, set out out there on the pad. And But what I need to do here is separate the neutrals and the grounds. So what I have... Uh, I went online, got me another bus bar. Now, it, I have a video out uh, how to install a, a neutral bus bar. This is the uh, catalog number, 27 position ground bar kit is what it is. And the catalog number is ECLX075M. Um, comes in this little package. I got it online from uh, Home Depot. And when I was looking at them before, I saw the bigger bus bar and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna need it, but we weren't planning on putting a uh, generator in. So this is going to become my sub panel and the first means of disconnect will be outside. I'll show you that panel here in a second. But this is uh, made, uh, if you go online and I have a Krauss Heinz, so if you go online and uh, punch up a uh, bus bar for uh, neutral or ground bus bar for Krauss Heinz, nothing's gonna come up. But if you go online and uh, punch in uh, Murray, uh, Murray electric box, because uh, at one point Murray bought Krauss Heinz and I, I don't know the whole thing and Siemens owned it and uh, but anyway, if you go online and look for a Murray bus bar, it'll, the, this will come up. And this is the exact thing that you need because it's made to bolt right into the, uh, the panel here. I mean, there's holes there and they're already, uh, they're already drilled for, uh, uh, they're already tapped for, uh, another bus bar. So that's already made. I mean, if, if you have a, have a uh, electric panel and it doesn't have holes, you have to drill holes and tap holes because uh, that's NEC rules. You just can't take a bus bar like this and slap it on there and then take uh, self-tapping screws and uh, drive it in there. That's, Ill, that's an illegal connection. Those are already self-tapped. I don't have to drill any holes and uh, tap holes, tap holes uh, to put my bus bar in. But on the other side of this uh, diagram, shows you where you can uh, place it. I have mine up here, but uh, there's, uh, your panel may have holes here, here, or here. We have an available spot up here is where we're gonna put the new bus bar. But what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm going to uh, take all these hot conductors off. I have them numbered uh, so I can get those out of the way. And then I have to take all the uh, neutrals off to get to the grounds. The grounds are back there. This is a insulated bus bar here. Uh, the ground is not insulated. Uh, I have to pull all these neutral uh, wires out to get to the ground wires and then I'll put them all back in. But uh, that's what I have to do. And it really doesn't matter what slot you put them in, what hole, just as long as they get back in, unless you're uh, uh, like this one here, I have a uh, AFC eye breaker where a neutral goes into it. So that'll stay in there. And that neutral runs with the uh, Hot, hot wire. That's what I got to do. I got to shut the power off and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'm going to disconnect all these wires here. I've got them numbered so I can just throw them right back. One, two, three, four, all the way here. Down. Most of this video will be fast forwarding because all I'm doing is taking the uh, neutrals off and the uh, uh, copper grounds off and moving them over here. Now I'm going to leave this jumper, uh, this jumper wire on here because this is still my first means of disconnect. I haven't installed the, uh, the main panel here. This will be my first, uh, this will be my first means of disconnect. And then I'll disconnect that jumper, that copper jumper wire. But here is where you'll want to connect your grounds and neutrals. 
because this is the first means of disconnect that's on that's off so uh the closest to the meter box is typically uh your uh load panel that is the first means of disconnect so there that's why i'm doing it uh you got the generator out here and uh i'm gonna put the new panel up there and then uh I got to move some of this stuff here, but that's, uh, that's why I'm doing it. Once this box is installed, then I'll disconnect the, uh, jumper wire. In there. So I'm going to shut the, uh, meter off right now and, uh, double check it to see if we have any power going to it. So what I like to do is, uh, hit all the breakers off. I just want to verify to you that it still has power. Still have, has power. So I'm going to shut the main breaker off. And then that'll dissipate all the power. Uh, I'm not always confident with these things. Sometimes the uh, cables are so well insulated that this will not even penetrate it. And you, you might assume that uh, uh, the power is off. So what I like to do is take my multimeter. Okay, you want to check from one of your uh, hot, hot uh, bus bars to your ground. Zero volts. But we always have power coming in here from the uh, meter. This is always live here, so that's why I covered the... First thing I'm going to do is unscrew all these hot conductors. Alright, these white neutrals need to come off and pretty much just unscrew them like, uh, like they're not yours and you don't care where they go back. Pull all these neutrals out here. Just flop them up here because I need room to work here. Uh, newer 12 gauge wires are so thin they look like 14 gauge so that's why I like to number them. Hey guys fix it John. Uh, I forgot to mention you get two fasteners here with uh, this uh, bus. I've got all the neutrals out and up here and uh, I still need to make as much room as I can to move all these uh, uh, ground cables over to here so I'm going to go ahead and remove these breakers. So now I can start undoing these ground cables here and uh, moving them over it's still going to be a uh, chore let me go ahead and remove this bus bar here this too tiny one so there it is right there too tiny let's put this other one on where i removed that uh, bus bar those are already uh those are already threaded it comes threaded from the factory i didn't have to thread it or anything now you'll see a lot of guys use uh uh, sheet metal screws or self-tapping screws, that's a no-no. NEC doesn't allow that. All right, let's see if I can get this bus bar on here now. Here's another place here I can put a bus bar, and I may put that other one back up in there. I didn't see that in there with all these. You know, on the uh, left side where it was covered up with throw. another uh, bus bar there. Go ahead and loosen these grounds up. They're all back here on the bottom side. Okay, I just got to pull them out one by one and work them over here, bend them down and back up. And I'm just going to try to weave them in uh, so they look nice and pretty in here. So they sit in the bottom of the sit in the bottom of the panel. You want the uh, hot conductors and the neutrals, uh, mostly the hot conductors on top. See how it's got a nice turn here? That's what we want over here on this side. We got That's why I had to take all those conductors out. Just too much. Okay, now we're leaving this one on here uh, temporarily. Because that's going to temporarily bond uh, the neutral to the ground here. So that way we're still bonded to the neutral. Because it's our first means of disconnect. Meaning this is where we shut the power off. It will become our sub panel, the second means of disconnect because 
Uh, we're, we're putting the switch box in. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that uh, grounding uh, bus bar on here. Better to have too many than not enough. I'll go ahead and cut that four gauge wire, and uh, so I can uh, join those two together, guys. And when you're uh, connecting these grounds, cut off the uh, smash stand. See where it's been all smashed from the last lug. Cut that off and start new. Hey guys, fix it, John. Uh, I got some of this four gauge wire four gauge cable, grounding wire, grounding cable. And I made me a uh, grounding uh, bond. I'm gonna bond these two uh, uh, bus bars together. There it is. I have it bonded from this lug here, this bus bar to this bus bar. So that'll be nice and legal. See right there is not so pretty. Typically they'll run square them up right here, but I might have to run another box one day and the ground will be down here at the bottom. So I always have the wire. All right, guys, we, we've got all the grounds loaded up on the bus bar, the ground bus bar. This there, I had to put uh, two more uh, grounds on this side and I loaded them all up on this side. Uh, we still have a jumper wire, a temporary jumper wire right here. It's coming around to the uh, neutral bus bar right here. And we're gonna leave that on until we get our uh, transfer switch put in. So now we gotta load on the uh, neutral wires, these white ones, and we can do it in any particular order. And this one needs to go, oh, I need to save this one here. Cause so that one goes to uh, this AFCI smoke, uh, smoke alarm. Now the uh, neutral and the uh, uh, grounding bus bar, the neutral bus bar and the grounding bus bar will be isolated when I take this jumper wire off. And I'm gonna do that after uh, I install the transfer switch. All right guys, I have all the neutral wires uh, tied in. So still got uh, all my hot wires to run and uh, I'll do that right uh, now. This will no longer be bonded once I hook the uh, transfer switch up because the transfer switch is my first means of disconnect to the power to the house. That's why we isolated the new. All right, guys, there's what it looks like all buttoned up. Uh, I'm glad I marked these right here because uh, there's all your neutral grounds. There's all your uh, earth grounds. And uh, it looks about as ugly as it did before. Not too bad. So, uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up.